Okay, so we are talking about string. Okay, so string. Uh, I'm getting my echo, Apur. Okay, perfect. Okay, string. So what did we discuss? We discussed that string is a collection of text, right? So you can give hello, how are you? Let's say. Okay, and we saw yesterday that you can do single, double, triple. Okay, all. Okay, but triple you can have multi-line text, but single, double will allow only one line. Okay, and we also saw the escape character, escape sequence, right? Escape character is backslash. Okay, so backslash. You know, this is how I remember. This is not the right way to remember, but this is how I remember is backslash will give power to you or take away power to you. If you say backslash and n gets power. Backslash backslash and will take away the power, right? So null kardega. Okay. <clears throat> then there are a few things that we need to understand here. Is uh, if you are you can add two string together. Okay. So if if I say str is one, and when you say str two equal to say how are you, right? You can add them together. STR1 plus STR2, you can add them together and this is how you get. Okay. Hello, how are you? And if you want to add space, of course, you can give a space. So you can add two strings together. You can add two numbers together, arithmetic me uh, addition. You can add three strings together. So it will concatenate. Okay. One more thing I wanted to tell you yesterday was, let's say if I have to print something like this, uh, he said, comma, quotation, he said, how are you? Okay. Now I need to print exactly like this. Okay. Now he said, how are you? Right. Or he asked, how are you? Right. He asked, how are you? And I want to print this as it is. I want to print this as it is. Okay. So in this case, what I'll do, I'll say print. Okay. Now, if I put double quotation here, <clears throat> this double quotation is treated as closing quote. Right. So what happens? This will give you error. See, because we started with double quotation, it is assuming that this double quotation is ending of the quotation. And all this came out of quotation, right? So it's giving us, it'll give us error, obviously. So in this case, what you can do is you can use single quote and then you give double quote inside. Now, because we started with single quote, Python will look for closing single quote to end the string. Since you have double quote inside, it's absolutely safe. Koi problem ni hoga, okay? So when you run it, you see, he asked, how are you? Okay, this is one way to do it. Another way is, if you want to use, no, I want to use double quote only. Okay. Then, this double quote has power. Power to close the string. So, I need to remove that power. How do I remove that power? Double quote. Backslash. Okay. Now, if you put backslash quotation here, so the meaning of this quotation is that, no, you are not superpower you cannot close the quotation okay you are normal quotation you are a normal character okay now what happens this is treated as closing quotation again we have to remove this power so you can put backslash so now what happens this becomes normal quotation this becomes normal quotation so now the closing pair of this is this one okay so you will run it you get exactly same output okay Wherever you need to use it, right? This is one case. Now, let's say if if a string has both single and double. Okay, you can decide that is single kar dete, why to use black slash. But if you has this one, okay? He asked me, what's your name? Okay. Agar aisa hota. Okay. He asks, what's your name? Now, in this case, it has both single and double. You can't use single or double. So one option is you can use triple. <laughs> you can use triple or you use backslash quotation, backslash single quotation. Okay. So backslash single quotation.
you give backslash here. That's it. Your problem is solved. Okay. So this is how you can play with backslash. Okay. Now you have string one. You can add string one. You can multiply a string with a number. So if I say string one into five. So what happens? You get hello five times. Hello, 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 five times. Now you see again, they, they are not separated by space. You want to separate by space? So you can say here str1 plus space. Now if I multiply, what happens? Bottmas rule, space is getting multiplied five times. Not hello, not string, right? Not str1. See, you got five spaces here. So you can put a bracket just like the way you would put in a mathematic equation, right? You want you want addition to be done first, then the multiplication. So you put this bracket and then you multiply. So you get hello, hello, hello with space. Okay, so you can add, multiply strings. Okay, okay, we'll talk about it later, but before that, okay, you can do a looping inside string. So for loop, I told you, right? In for loop, you have for, i, in, range. All of them are four different pieces. All four different pieces we are combining together. Range is a function which will generate range of values. In will make sure the value from range goes into variable on the left side, which is i, whatever. And for is making sure that i takes value one by one in one iteration. You can use for loop on str also. So for i, in instead of range, I will say str1. I in str1. So str1 is giving value to i. Pele h, fir e, then l, then l, then o. Okay, so str1 is giving value to i one by one. H, e, l, l, o. So now if I print i, print i, you will see the i value will be H E L L O. Okay, first is getting H, then E, then just like if you say range 5, it will take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here it will take H E L L O. So if you want to run a loop 5 times, you can also say here like this for I in, you know, in, uh, in hello. So your loop will run 5 times. Number of times the value is there in the, in the uh, string. Okay, now before like we got into string, like all the uh, all the data types that we discussed, integer, ho gaya, float, ho gaya, boolean, okay, complex, all of them are treated as like one single character, but string is treated as multiple characters. It is collection of characters, so that's why you see hello, it it could read each individual values. I cannot read thirty five as three and five. Unless I convert that into string. So if I have to read as 35, 3 and 5, then I have to convert that into string. Then you can say i. Otherwise, you cannot read 35. 35 is one single value. You cannot do a loop on that. You cannot, you know, get 3 from 35. Okay. So this is one thing. Now, if you want to know how many characters are there, if you want to know how many characters are there in this string, so we have a function called len. Okay, so we can talk about len function, L-E-N, short form for length. Okay, will tell you the length of the word or the variable actually. Okay, how many, right? How many elements are there? Okay, number of elements. So if I say print, number of elements in in um, number of elements in str1 right in str1 is and i'll put f here and i'll say here len of okay len of str1 so when you run it you see Okay, so now that you using len, you can get number of elements. So one way to run 
the loop is that I put i in str1. I can also say for i in range of len of str1. So len is 4, right? Sorry, 5, correct? Len is 5. So this is another way to run this loop. So now if I say print i, what will I get? No. Len will, if it's there, what will give? 5. So it's like range of 5. What does range of 5 give you? Ah, uh -huh. range of 5 will give you 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so guys on the phone, they can you can also answer. So you have range 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so range of len of okay str1 so len of will tell us how many elements are there and range will run it like this okay this is basic about string now next thing you have to learn is how to access the member accessing the member from a member from a string okay so remember the concept we're going to do now okay for next 15 20 minutes we'll do one concept that concept is very very important okay same concept will repeat again in list tuple set numpy pandas everywhere same concept repeats so you have to listen to it carefully okay this is you cannot imagine a day without this concept okay access no 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 hold on we'll, we'll do it so this is okay way to access member from a string right so if i say str1 let me put it again str1 equal to hello okay i want only h okay or i want only e or i want only l so you're yeah, accessing subset of it subset so you say print str1 square bracket remember this is first time i think first time we are talking about square bracket Square bracket is used for indexing. This is called index. The concept is called indexing. Indexing is accessing member from a string or any other data collection. Data collection means which has more than one value. So this is called indexing. And indexing starts from zero. In Python, everything starts from zero. Indexing starts from zero. So if I need first member of hello what will i say i'll say str1 of zero if i say str1 of zero it is h exactly Okay, guys. So, str1 of 0 will give us h here. Okay. What is the index of e? L. Right? Exactly. So, what I can do here, I can say print i, comma. I can print something like hyphen or whatever. I can say here, str1 square bracket i. So, what will I get here now? You tell me.
exactly. 0 dash H, 1 dash E, 2 dash L. Okay. So I is, I mean, reading the value, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you are saying STR 1 of 0, STR 1 of 1, STR 1 of 2. Okay. So this is what you get from this loop. Okay. This is one important concept. Now, Python, so this is true in a case of Java, C, C++, all the programming languages. Yes. No, no. Okay. You can have space, you can have I, right? Or you can have five, right? Space, five. Everything is a character. Element matlab kya? Anything, no. I did not say it's alphabet. Did I say alphabet? No. Alphabet hota to A to Z hota. It's not, I did not say alphabet, right? I said elements. Anything that you put, space, comma, one, two, three, four, five, okay, anything, okay? Each of them are element, okay? I did not say alphabet. Alphabet is A to Z. Digit is 0 to 9. Numbers are made up of digits. String, okay? Or word and sentence, English word and sentence are made up of alphabets. Okay? So, yes. So when I say digit, it is 0 to 9. When I say alphabet, it is A to Z. Capital letters, uppercase alphabet, capital A to capital Z. Lowercase alphabet, small a to small z. Right? Yes. Huh. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Consul line number bowler up. Which line number? Why you right side? Zero, zero, zero hai, right? So, zero hai. Zero ke baad hyphen hai. To hyphen a gaya. Uske, haan. ए अपुरु यू आर थिंकिंग उल्टा एंड क्यों लगाते हैं उल्टा सोचिए एंड लगाते हैं सेम एंड होता तो सेम लाइन में आता राइट राइट ओके आप आपने शायद ज्यादा एंड यूज किया लगता है ओके यस ओके सो सी इफ यू डू नॉट वांट इन टू बी इन सेम लाइन देन यू यूज एंड करेक्ट हां ओके so here, when I say str1 of 0, you know, you get h, okay? So what I was saying is, in Python, okay, in there, left to right, how many have we That is left to right indexing. Left may 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is left to right indexing. You also have right to left indexing. Right, say left. Okay? So before I talk about right to left, now let's say I want to find the last element of a string. How can I find the last element of a string? This string hello. Hai. I want the last element. What is zero chahiye mujhe. O chahiye. So you have to say print four. But let's say if I'm reading the value from the user. If I'm reading value from the user, then I will not know which value user will give. And I want the last character. So how, how do I get it? Okay, let's say last index equal to len of str1 minus 1. Did you understand this? Okay, len of string will give you 5. Agar paanch size 5 hai, then the index of last element is 4. 0 se start ho hai, right? Counting always starts from 1. Natural number always starts from 1. Whole number will start from 0. Natural number is counting number. Okay, so always start from 1, 2, 3, 4. Whole number always like so you start from 0. So indexing is like whole number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
okay how many elements are there you will not say four elements because counting may zero nahi hota hai zero means it's not there ek aapke paas ek hai that is one that's not zero so you say one two three four five so the last index is going to be total length minus one so ln of str one is five five minus one is going to be four four ho gaya the last index so i can say here last index so irrespective of whatever you have in str1 you will get this now if i add some okay so you get dy because we are accessing the size and then we are doing minus 1 now instead of writing last index here last index is equal to this right i can directly put this one here yes so str of square bracket len of str minus 1 this will give me the last element yes now python says is if you are doing from last you don't even have to do len you simply say minus 1 len hata do minus 1 will also give you last element so from right to left indexing is like len of minus 1 len of minus 2 will be second last len of minus 3 will be third last len hata do minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 it will go on so you can access member using left to right indexing which is zero starts from zero 0 1 2 etc from right side you have to use as minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so on second last okay so you have this as indexing jo hai aapka minus 1 se bhi kar sakte ho minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 right okay so this is about accessing each member each element from the string okay now let's say you have small h here right i want to change into capital h how will i do it so if i say str1 of 0 equal to capital h can i do that kyun nahi str1 of 0 i am saying convert into capital h see str1 of 0 is small h and i am saying str1 of 0 is h right i am asking you string object does not support item assignment so this is like small h okay this is only for string this is like small h string is not isko bolte hain immutable you can't edit the value of a string once you define you cannot edit no 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 you can do it like that see i'll tell you string r string is immutable immutable means you cannot edit see when i say a equal to 5 a equal to 6 i am not editing the value of a i am overwriting the value of a there is a difference between editing and overwriting so when i say a equal to 5 and then when i say a equal to 6 i am overwriting and when i say str1 equal to hello or i say str1 equal to hello i am overwriting not editing so all these are perfectly fine but this is problem okay because here i am not overwriting i am editing if i had said str1 equal to it will work but when i say str1 of 0 equal to h it's not working because 
here we are overwriting not sorry here we are overwriting and there we are editing so this is not allowed you cannot say str1 of 0 equal to h this will give you error okay but all this is fine okay you can overwrite it that's all you know it's all good now let's say I want to, okay, so so far we have been seeing how to read each element from the string. Now we will see how to read continuous element. Okay, I want to read hell out of hello. I want to read ELL. How do I do that? So concept is very similar to range. Listen print i want let's say e l l l i want e l l okay so to get e l l okay what you have to do is you have to say str1 right str1 string always in this um, always getting index you have to use square bracket so str1 square bracket in square bracket we have to define from where to where range bolte tha na left to right here also have to say from where to where. From where to where? So we want from 1. Index of E is 1. 1, 2, then 2 is colon. 2, matlab, I want to use from 1, 2, so colon. If I say 3, the range of the last value is up to. So you get only 1 and 2. You will get only E and L. Yes, you get only E and L. See, last element is up to. Starting is including. Range may be when you say range 1, 5, you start from 1, 2, 3, 4, not 5. Up to 5. 1, 10 will take 1 to 9, not 10. 1 to 11 will take it to 1 to 10. So last element is always up to, not including. So here you have to say 4. So you get ELL. Okay, I want hell. What should I do? Hell, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, only. I want only hell. Five? Five? See, this L is given for four? No. You have to look how enough. Four is giving you this L. So, I want only this L only, right? So, it's going to be four only. Okay? Now, what Python says is, if you are starting from zero, you don't have to tell me. Just like when you're ending at the end, you don't have to tell me. When you're starting from zero, you don't have to tell me. So if I remove zero and don't write anything, it will still, you know, give it to me from the beginning. Okay? Because when you are starting from beginning, you don't have to mention, you don't have to tell that, start from beginning. And you want to go all the way up to four. Okay, so uh, 4 because I need to print up to 3. The index of second L is 3. So, yes, yes. Okay, let's try that. Now I want to print ELLO. LO. ELLO. What should I do here? One na, I we don't want H. One two, then Are, oh, chahiye, na? we four will give you L well, no. Four is giving you second L. I want one more than L. One more than L means five. I have to say one colon five. 
right? Or one because five is the last element, right? So you say one colon blank. Okay, so starting from first value and going all the way up to last, you can say five or you can leave it blank. This will give you ELLO. With me? Okay. Now let's talk about okay the negative indexing right to left okay we spoke about left to right now same thing i need to do using backward indexing what should i write tell me what should be before colon or what should be after colon Minus two. No, no, no. Minus two colon minus five. The minus five. What? What are you saying? Left me. What will happen? Okay. What did you get? Nothing. See, up voltage zero to What happened? See, listen, listen, listen. Okay, I'll give you some hint here. When we say from left to right, okay, now you tell me between minus two and minus five, which is greater, which is smaller? Forget about this. You tell me, I'm asking you. Minus five is greater or minus two is greater? Minus two is greater? So you're saying from greater go down to minus. How can you go from top to down? So it is always 0 to 1 to 4, 0 to 9, okay, 1 to 5. How can you say minus 2 to minus 5? Okay. See, starting is always including. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Minus five is H. That is all including. Okay. And when I say up to minus two, that means H E L should be printed, isn't it? You want from this one. Correct? Hai? So you want from this one, so this is minus 4. So this minus 4 is correct. And you want up to what? You want you want minus 2, yes, yes or no? Then why will you put minus 2 here? You have to put 1 more than minus 2, right? What is minus 2 plus 1? Minus 1. So your minus 1 is what will come here. You want minus 2 also. When you want minus 2, you have to go 1 to the right. Plus 1. Char cha ye, we put four, four, 5. Do cha ye, we put 3. If you need minus 2, then you have to say minus 2 plus 1. Minus 1. Right? So minus 4 minus 1 will give you L. Okay. 
Now you tell me, how will you put negative value here? Now this should be easy. I want first four character. Happy. Okay. So minus five, matlab. Your uh, okay. Minus five, matlab. Kya hua? Minus five is edge, no. So you're saying go before edge. Minus five is the first element. You're saying go up to first. From first, go to first. From first, go to first. Kuch nahi print hoga. I have to say minus one, right? Well, then it'll go to last but one. Okay, last one you tell me. Now this is important because I'm not going to repeat this uh, you know, while talking about list or tuple. Okay, exactly same concept, exactly same square bracket is used for any collection. Okay, now you tell me. Okay, okay using negative indexing, how do I print hello? Minus four. Okay, minus four. Good. Perfect. This is correct. You get hello. Okay. Good with indexing. Okay. Let's continue. So now we'll talk about, okay, some methods which are provided to us by string. So, so far, okay, so far, We've been doing only what? We've been doing only general function, okay, which is available to everyone. Now I'm talk about functions which are specific to string. Now we've been seeing that you know every variable is called as class, class string, class integer, right? Class float. So everything in Python is treated as class. Okay, everything in Python is treated as class. Okay, now what is a class? Class in a crude way is a collection of functions and variables. So related functions and variables you put together and you give it a name. So you create some functions, you add some variables and you give it a name called string. Now, when you group them, they have to be related. Okay. So we'll talk about functions we, which have been grouped with string. So these are called as methods. Okay. So see, there's a slight difference between functions and methods. Functions are global. Functions are global. Methods are specific to the class. So if you declare a function inside a class, they're called as method. Baki sub same hai. look and feel. We will create both. We will create first function and then we'll create methods. Okay. Methods and functions are same. They are called differently just to show that methods are applicable. Okay. Uh, you can use it. 
uh, without creating any object. But for create using method, you have to create object of that class only. Okay. So when I say here str1 equal to hello. Okay. That means I have created an object of class string. Okay. So str1 is an object which is of what type? String type. It is of string type. Okay. This is what it means. It is of string type. Object is usable form of a class. Okay. Class is definition, but when you use it, it is object. For example, if I tell you what Apple, let's assume that you have not heard of Apple before. You don't know what Apple is. Now, if I explain you, this is UKG Bolte and LKG UKG A for Apple and they show you the photo. This is what Apple is, right? That is your class. When you define it, but when you buy an apple, when you eat an apple, when you see an apple, that is object. So definition is only to know, right? Apne jo book mein padha hai apple aur mein dekha hai, that is just to understand what apple is. Okay? So definition is only one. If either I tell you or somebody else tell you what apple is, the definition is only one. But the objects will be multiple many. Class is one, definition is one, but you can have many objects. So string is one class. When you talk about string, mein aisa hota hai, string, mein aisa hota hai, string mein quotation hota hai, string may add kar sakte, you can do a for loop. These are all properties of string. I can only talk about it. But if I have to demonstrate, if I have to show you, I have to create an object. So str1 equal to hello, str1, str1 became object of class string. I can say str2 equal to, this is like second apple. Hello, let's say. So I've created second object of class string. The moment you say anything equal to quotation, anything became object of class string. Because this is how you define string, quotation. The moment I say anything equal to quotation, the quotation, because it is quotation, anything becomes object of class string and it will inherit all the properties of class. So if I say ki apple is red in color, apple is, apple is sweet in taste, apple can be used for making custard, can be used for making apple pie. Now whether you take, you know, Kashmiri apple or you take fizzy apple or you take whatever apple, all the properties which I mentioned will be applicable to all. Otherwise, they, are, they do not belong to the same class. Maybe green apple and red apple, if I talk about, then they are different objects. They are not same. Red apple is different class. Green apple is different class. Whatever I talk about red apple will not hold true for green apple. Whatever I have talk about for green apple will not hold true for red apple. So when I define a class and then you create an object of that class, the object will inherit all the properties, will get all the properties of the class. आपने बोला कि string ऐसा होता है, string में addition होता है, multiplication होता है, for loop होता है, all those features will be added to all the objects of the class. So what I can do with str1, same thing I can do with str2 also. Same thing I can do with str3 if that is an object of class string. Okay, so this is object. Now to call the methods, that is a function of class, you have to say object name dot. Okay. So I think by mistake, my hand went on object name dot. Now you see this M, all these M's are methods. These are all methods which are given to strings. There are so many. All M's, you should be aware of all M's, what all M's do. Okay, you should be aware of all these. I don't know, there are 15 or 20. You should be aware of what each of these things do because when you do programming and if you know these methods, your life will become easy. Otherwise, what will happen? You'll try to implement it yourself. If there's already a method which does what you want to do, use that. One, it'll save time. Second, that is anyway the most efficient way to do it. You, If you are doing on your own, it will not be as efficient as the method. And second, it will take time unnecessary. So 
you have to use these methods now how do you read about these methods okay there is you cannot remember everything okay you cannot buy out everything so now i'm going to talk tell you how to remember these things okay now you go to google which was the site from where we downloaded the uh, python do you remember hmm python.org python.org is the website from where you downloaded python right you go to same website and you go to docs documentation python documentation click on it okay now you see this is python 3.11 which is used i am using 3.10 right i can go back and check okay i am using python 3.10 i think okay so what i'll do i will go and click on python 3.10 here you see python 3.10 security fixes click here it will open you python 3.10.12 documentation this is the latest version python 3.10.12 this is the latest version in python 3.10 okay so you go to the version that you are using once you come here you can talk about if you want to see how to install python modules or you know how to distribute python modules how to extend embed okay all these things you can click and do it okay or let you want to understand about string i will go here in quick search i will say string i will type string here and you click on go it will tell you everything about string that it has you see first one python module in string common string operations click here okay now these is the documentation of string okay these are the variables ascii letters ascii lower case etc okay and you can even learn about functions from here okay this is the best place to learn about see there are some examples also here okay you learn from this okay and this is where i'm because you know when once class is done and you have to learn about something where will you go and learn right so this is where you should go and learn python documentation is the best documentation everything that is there is documented very nicely you know uh, easily with the examples you can always learn what each of these things mean okay so this is where you need to go and keep improving your python knowledge so for now i'm going to talk about few you know um, functions or methods okay in the class we will see them okay so the okay let's talk about some of these methods which i told you okay if you say a string one dot and you say lower lower will convert the string into lower case so see here i have str1 in upper case right i'll go here and say print lower case you say lower case see here it printed in lower case you can say upper case it's anyway upper case but still if you want you can do upper case okay it will give you upper case okay let's say if you have h e l o small okay one l went away irrespective of what is input it will convert into upper case and lower case yes no no so if i say print str1 okay if i say string str1 this is original value okay this will remain as it is str1 is h capital e small l small l capital o small okay it will still be same thing here okay
So you have lower lower case, upper case. You can do print um, str one dot title case. Title is for title case. Title case means first letter is capital, the rest is small. If I say hello, how are you? See, first letter of every word is made capital. This is called title case. So you say here, title case. Hello, how are you? Title case. Okay. You also have str1 dot Okay. Okay, let it be for now. Okay, so see, we have title case, upper case, lower case, right? You can convert into different cases. You also have some functions like ease. Ease. And these are functions, methods with ease. Ease alpha is asking a question. Is it alphabet or is it lower? Ease lower means, is it lower case? Okay, ease upper means, is it upper case? Is alnum means is it alpha numeric? Alpha number, alpha numeric. Is digit means is it a digit? Is alpha, sorry. It is condition. So answer is either true or false. Boolean. So if I say str2 dot is lower, what will I get? str2 dot lower is lower. str2 is lower. So it will give you yes, true. Is lower will give you true. Okay, so today we'll see some methods. Next week when we meet, we'll do examples. Okay, we'll do examples of using all this. So it'll give you true. If I say str2 dot is upper, of course, it's not upper case, right? So it will get false. Now what I'll do, I'll do str2 dot upper. What upper will do? Convert into upper case. And now I'm checking, is it upper case? Right? So, you know, so all is will give you either lower or upper. All is will give you either lower case or upper case. Okay. We'll do three, four examples and we will stop here So today. Let's say you have str1 equal to, or let's say str1 we have it, okay? The first one. Now I say print str1 dot is alnum. Is alnum means, does it contain uh, yeah, alphanumeric? So what do you think? It will be true or false? Why? But like a number has to be compulsory. No, number is not compulsory, right? Is it alphabet or number? Does it contain alphabet or number only? Or, right? It doesn't mean that you have to have, right? So if I say username, you can put alphabet and number. Now, does it mean that you have to put alphabet also? You can put only, sorry, number one also. You have to put alphabet only, right? So what do you think? Is it true or false? No. See, I'm saying... Okay, you can enter only alphanumeric. When I say enter only alphanumeric, am I saying that you have to enter alphabet and number? No. No. See, password mate says you have to include this and this and this. Username. See, use, see what I'm saying, it is alphanumeric. I'm not saying that it has to have alphabet, it has to have number. See, when I say, is it alphanumeric? Question is, is it alphanumeric? I'm asking you, is it alphanumeric? Okay, that means, does it have only alphabet or number? Does it have only alphabet or number? Right? It's not saying that it should have both. 
either is fine because I'm, I'm asking a question, right? So it is, is it alphabet and or number, okay? It doesn't mean that it has to have both, okay? Now the thing is, the next week I'll tell you, you have to write a program to make sure that whatever we have learned, uska reverse karna hai. Alpha numeric will give you true only if it is alphabet or only number or both. Now you have to write a function using these things to make sure that you know, it has alphabet and number. Okay. So, will this give me true or false? No, it is false. Why it is false? Yes. Of course, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do Alphabet is what? A to Z. Alphabet is A to Z, right? Comma, space, semicolon, these are not part of alphabet. Those are not alphabet. Yes. So if I say str2, yes, you're right. If I do str2, you get true. str1 has space. Space is not alphabet. Okay. Similarly, you have digit. Print str2 dot is digit. Okay. Does it contain digit? No. Okay. Now see here. Now when I am telling you to enter a number, let's say. Okay. If I say num1 equal to int of input. Enter length of the rectangle, let's say. Okay. So now you enter the length. I run it. And let's say you enter 10. It's fine. Okay. There's nothing, pro no problem. But if I enter t and 10 what happens we can't convert 10 t and into number in integer right it is failing so what you can do here you can say num1 equal to input you don't have to convert into integer now you check if num1 dot is digit right num1 dot is digit will be true when it has numbers only then you convert into int of num1 right else you can say print invalid number right so you can uh, so i'm just saying this this is a, one way to handle the error because when you say blindly int you are expecting user to give you Valid, but you can't control what the user gives. If you design a website, you can enter any data. You can't control what value user gives, right? So this is one way to check. Okay, one application of is digit. Enter the length. I'll say ten. Then it says invalid number. I can put it in a while loop. Okay, so as long as it is invalid, keep doing, keep doing it. And you put if number is digit, then number equal to num, and then you put put a break here. I can put this into a while loop till the user, you know, enters a valid number. And then you can put a break here. That means if this is digit, then you take the number and break from the loop. Right? So you have is digit. Okay? So this is one way to check if the, in, the string that you have entered is a number or not. Okay? So is alum, is digit. You have is alpha. Okay? That means if you want to enter the value as a text only name for example name equal to input enter your name right now i can check if name dot is alpha is alpha that means if alpha is true you say name accepted yeah, yeah. Else, print invalid name. Is alpha is to check if it is alphabet only. Right? Now, your name should not have space. Let's say if I'm asking name, you should not even have space, for example. You cannot put first name, space, last name. Here, I'm checking only for name. Right? So is a alpha name accepted? 
If it is not alpha, you say invalid name. Now, your assignment for this week is, okay, modify below program to accept space also. Now, this will not accept space. Okay, so let's say I enter rectangle one is fine. Here I say name, I say Swapnil space sort of, let's say. Okay, invalid name. Why? Because there's a space. Now, if I just give Swapnil, you know, it's fine. Name accepted. Now, I want you to modify this to accept only space. Text and only space. Think how you can do it and do it. Okay. We'll stop here. There are a lot more methods to talk about. Okay. We'll do next week. Okay. We will practice few more um, methods here.